heart to see our children grow up to love Jesus and desire to be a light in the world. So this mom or dad asked, with that kind of a background, being a successful person regardless of profession, what is something that you value or regret experiencing during your journey of homeschool? That I value or regret. So Boy, there's something that I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Both of those ends. So just pick one. Um, I'll go with, with value. Um, and it's easy for me to get the chance to talk about my parents because they're two of my um, greatest role models and heroes. Um, I would say, um, really, one of my biggest encouragements to you guys would be. Um, that you can think about what you want to say and teach your kids, but the greatest thing you're going to teach them is what you do every day. And it's just, it's not even close. You can tell them, oh, you need to read this, and you need to read the Bible, and you need to do all these things. If you don't do it, it is not going to be valuable, especially as a homeschooler, because you see them all the time. <laughs> like, it's literally every day. You're not going away for most of the days and coming back, and you may or may not have been reading. So you know it's so valuable when I would wake up and I'd see my dad doing it over and over and over again. And then when you know we would talk, and my dad would talk about the value of, of serving people or the value of, of helping those less fortunate, he wasn't talking from a place of, uh, of authority. He was talking from a place of, he because he did it his whole life, and he's still doing it. Um, in his mid 70s with Parkinson's and he's still going to help people that could never help him back And so when his actions match up with his words, then you're like, oh wow, I want to be like you And I think that had such an impact on my life and my mom would talk about um, You know, she would always have scripture and so many times quote scripture to us and so um, You know, we'd be frustrated. I'd be mad at a coach and she would say sweetness of speech increases persuasiveness she would always say it to me. I would say, gosh, this coach is just dumb. Like, <laughs> why doesn't he play me here or whatever, you know? And she would say, what does the Bible say about it? I know, Mom, sweetness of speech increases persuasiveness, you know? And so then, it, and, and, but I would also look at my mom, who I, I don't even know how, if, if I, I've ever really heard her talk bad about someone, you know? Because if she doesn't, if she wants to talk bad about it, she just won't talk about it, you know? So if she doesn't have something good to say, she's just not really going to necessarily even say it. Like you hear that said, if you want something good to say, don't say it at all. Like I would, my mom would like live that. And it was, it was just, that has such an effect on me, seeing that every day. That there was stuff that I would learn from them from sitting down. But the, my greatest lessons were watching them every day. And um, I just, there's no substitute for that.